Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Joseph Stone Theatre here in Athlone. It's uh, indeed an honor for me to be here tonight. 18 years ago was the first time I appeared on this stage with the large show. So it's very special for me tonight. The four shows that are coming up are all about the four elements, earth, wind, fire, and water. And one thing, I might be serious when I do the tricks on stage, but the glasses go up when I talk to you, and it's my normal self. Because this show is all about earth, I thought, let me do something with one of the elements of the earth, namely metal. But I do need a volunteer. Do we have uh, anybody who'd like to assist today? Uh, uh, yes? Please give a round of applause. Let's welcome her up onto stage. Hello, thank you very much. Do come stand over here on the trap door. Okay, I'm, I'm only really kidding. No, no, just, yeah, rather over there. What's your name? Yeska. Yeska. Very nice to meet you. Yeska, I'm going to show you a Chinese trick that is over 2,000 years old. It's called the Chinese linking rings. I've got ring one over here. I've got ring two over here, I've got ring three over there, and ring four over there. Now, first of all, I want you to check, are these solid steel rings? Just check that. Uh, are there any holes in them? No, no, there's one in the middle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be called the Chinese linking hubcaps, right? <laughs> these jokes are over 2,000 years old. Right. Okay, now, what I'm going to do, I want you to hold it in your hand like that. A solid like that. And I'm going to ask you, where do you think there is a soft spot? Okay. Nowhere. Okay, F fair answer. So just carry on holding it like that. I'm going to tap it through there and a count of three. And watch very closely. That's steel passing through steel. Also known as the ancient art of penetration. Okay, here goes. <laughs> One, two, three. Like that. Okay. Ooh, right. Okay, so we've got that one linked to that one. And that one linked to that one. I know the first time I saw that, I was also so stunned I forgot to applaud. But don't feel bad about that. Okay. So, the thing is now to try... And no, 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 please, don't. Don't. Don't, 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 don't stop. Okay. We are now going to just blow on there like this, and all you do is you just unlink them like that. You're shaking it. That's quite freaky. Would you like me to teach you the trick? Okay, so you're going to do it with me. Okay, so we're going to give you one ring, let's say two rings. There. No, we'll just stick to two. I want you to take these two rings, you hold them in your hand like this. Do not drop them until I tell you to, okay? So hold them there. I'm going to hold mine here. On the count of three, you release, not yet, you release one and hopefully it links. Watch your toes. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Yes! Very good. Uh, that, was, that, was, that was pretty cool, okay? Right. <laughs> what I want you to do now is I want you to take them like this, and then you just roll them like this. You just blow on them, yes, round like that. That's very good. You, are you doing it? Yes? So like this. Then you unlink them like that, okay? And then you take this one, you pull it through there, and it's linked again. Very, very good. Very good. Okay. Now, you catch on really fast, okay? That's the first move. The second move is you take this hand, you hold them in your left hand, like this, uh, that ring facing the audience. You take this hand, you pull it through there like that, okay? And then you put it back again. Okay, we'll try the third way, right. You hold them like this, you hold that ring there. Now what you're going to do, it's almost like a bow and arrow. You're going to take this ring, fling it over there and catch it on the arm and pull it straight off. Are you ready? Yes, here it goes. On the count of three. And look, if you miss it, it hits you on the head. It's sore. Okay, right, here it goes. One, two, three, like that, and you pull it off there. Now you throw it into the air and you catch it again like that. Oh, you are so fast. Excellent. Give her a round of applause. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you so very much. There we go. When the audience starts doing tricks better than me, I really get worried. Now, of course, what you can do is, because I didn't ask you to unlink them, you can take another ring, you can place it over here like this, and you can just let that ring just drop down like that, you see? Then you can take the last one and 
you can link them all four together like this. Of course, you want to take it a step further. So what you can also do is you can just shake them up, link three rings on one ring. Remember in the beginning I counted them because this was ring number one. This was ring number two. This was Um, this was ring number three, and that was ring number four. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll see you after the commercial break. <laughs> In this part of the show, I introduce to you a local guest magician. This gentleman hails from Cape Town, he's studying a management accounting degree and has been doing magic for three years. Now, under magicians, three years is not a long time, but he's attained the impossible, and that's what magicians do, seriously. I would rate him as the top card magician in this country. He's absolutely fantastic, he is dedicated, he's just brilliant. And I've got two members from the studio audience to come and watch because with close-up magic, you need to see it under your nose. And also, we want you, the viewer at home, and the audience to realize this is really happening live. So, without further ado, the one, the only, the brilliant Fayat Mani. Hi, good evening, everybody. Uh, I'd first like to take the opportunity to thank my wonderful volunteers for volunteering to appear on stage. And could I ask your name? Gabriela. Gabriela. My name is Fiat. Pleased to meet you. And you are? Larry. Larry. Thank you for coming. Uh, first of all, I'd like to show you how possible it is to locate any four of a kind, particularly the four aces, in a, any deck of cards by sense of touch alone. So, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, ace number one. I'm going to give the deck a couple of cuts. There we go. Ace number one. Over there. It's the ace of art. Ace number one. Ace number two. Ace number two, I cut the deck one. And two. Oh, it's the king. Well, that was close, wasn't it? It was close. Yeah, yeah. That's what the K stands for. It's close. <laughs> oh, well, um, since it's that close, if you give it about <laughs> one second, it will change into the correct ace. That's ace number two. Ace number three, you know, it gets a little bit more difficult as I find the aces because there are less aces in the deck to find. So let's try this again. Uh, in fact, ace number three, I'll use the first ace, ace number one, and ace number two which is the ace of diamonds and the ace of hearts. Okay, watch very carefully. Do not blink. Ace number three. I'm not there. That's the ace of clubs. Oh, ace number... Oh, oh, sure. thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ace number four is a little bit more difficult. So I'll cut the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. If I'm not mistaken, that should bring the final ace 24 cards from the top. So if I cut off exactly 23 cards in the deck, it means that the next card, sure enough, should be. Come on, do it. The ace of space. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now that I do have all four aces, you can see that there are no other aces in the deck. Could you verify that to the audience? No, no, Okay, Gabriella. What I'd like you to do is, just for the sake of authenticity, I would like you to sign the big, bold <laughs> letters, <laughs> uh, the Ace of Spades. Which, and you'll see why the Ace of Spades in a second. Okay, would you do that to me? Here we go. And in addition to that, I'm going to use 12 other cards for this. So, it won't be that difficult to follow because I'm not going to use the entire deck. It will just be 12 cards. That's perfect. Let's get that from you. Thank you. You did that. I want you to follow very carefully, because this is something that you are, you will never forget for the rest of your life. And I'm going to use 12 cards, and you make sure that I do not cheat. Repeat after me. I'm going to count from 1 up to 12, OK? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine. Stop, stop, stop. It's unbelievable. No one has ever gone this high. Okay. Uh, we are at number nine, <laughs> 10, 11, and 12. Okay, no more, no less. And I do not need the next two today. Okay, we'll put that aside. I'm going to ask you this question. If I take these four aces and I gather them up in this fashion, I'm going to do this very sneaky. I'm going to take these four aces, turn them face down. Right? If I take one of them and place them over there, and I tell you that is the ace of spades, will you believe me? No, I could not Sorry? <laughs> no? Uh, well, um, Gabrielle, actually it is. Okay, I just need to establish where the level of trust lies here. <laughs> I need you to watch very closely, okay, because this ace, the ace of spades will be what we would refer to as the leader ace. I'm going to put three cards on top of this. Three cards on top of the And before I continue with uh, Gabriella, would you do me a favor? Uh, let's talk about that later. But first, let's uh, do the thing. Okay. <laughs> what I need to do is, I need you to, um, please, would you please sit on these cards? Okay, can you do that? Okay. Make sure it's all, in the, all the way in the middle. Okay, very important. <laughs> so, the next three cards, one, two, three, on top of there. One, two, three, on top of that, one, two, three. Now, the idea is this. I'm going to try, and I do mean try, to make each and every one of these aces vanish completely right in front of your eyes. Not only will they disappear from here, but they will appear under you. Ooh, wait. No, please give me more credit than that. I've done this before. So, ace, ace number one, ace of diamonds. Can you see that? Ace of diamonds? Yeah, yeah. Watch. What it takes is that. Did you feel that? <laughs> no. But what in fact happened is that that ace did completely disappear from this packet. That's the first ace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Well, ace number two. A bit more difficult. Watch very carefully. Ace number two. You see it all, Larry? Well, oh, oh, that's good, because I didn't do anything yet. <laughs> that's good. Ace number two is a bit more difficult, so pass it through the magic first. And that causes ace number two completely disappear. Ace number two. Very well, thank you. Now, the, the last ace. Let's make it a bit more easier for you to follow. And what I'll do is I'll take ace number three, which is the ace of hearts. I'm going to turn it over very quickly. First of all, where is the final ace? Was there. And uh, we'll just give it a simple rub. And the ace disappears. Leave. So now we're left with, we started with 12, didn't we? And we still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Can you guess where those aces might be? In your pocket. Would, well, I'm not that good. No, 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 I'm not that good. Uh, Gabriella, would you check underneath where you originally put it? Uh, you should take them off. Please do. Oh my God. And you guys? Okay, would you show it to the audience? That was absolutely brilliant. Thank you, Walter. You had me standing on the side looking at you going, Oh, I can't believe it. Thank Wonderful. You. It's an honor to have you as a guest on the show. It's an honor to be here. Wonderful. And I will see you around very soon, I'm sure. And back to a commercial break.
These Spotify dancers, they've really captured the essence of our theme earth. And for my celebrity guests today, they really play earthy music. I'd like you to give a warm welcome to Adrian from DNA String. Welcome, Adrian. Great to have you on the show. Thank have you. a seat. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, take note, I especially didn't wear my long jacket now because <laughs> you've got one on. Okay, two of us in long jackets would have been crazy. Be wrong, yeah. yeah, so tell us about yourself. What have you been doing? Where are you going? Well, we've uh, launched our third CD, Nomad, in April, and we're right. still touring with it. The December tour is going to be hectic. We'll, we'll be around the south coast of the Cape okay. throughout the December. Um, I think the best would be for people to, to check out our dates on, the, on our website. Great. Okay, and you know what, what I'm fascinated about is, first of all, DNA, the title of the band, how mm. you came on that, and how would you describe your music? Well, the, the DNA part is, was just the original me members' first names, okay. Donnie and Audrey. So that doesn't have any significance <laughs> anymore. Okay. You could say we've got music in our genes if you really want to. But right. uh, the, the style of music is, in short, like uh, instrumental folk rock. Okay. Uh, nothing and uh, uniquely South African. Proudly South African, yeah. We, All the way. We, um, we mixed so many styles, Irish and Spanish and Latin American and African especially. So it's a, it's a rainbow nation type of sound. Oh, brilliant. No, because when I saw your f first music video, I was absolutely blown away. You really captured me. Thank and I you. thought you'd be such great guests now, especially on this Earth show. And yeah. I remember that first video I saw of yours was shot outside Worcester. They're in the sands and all that. That's and right, the colors. Yeah. And I thought about it and I said, OK, I've got to show you a trick with sand. Now, let's start off. First of all, the hands are empty. And I want you to notice nothing over there, uh -huh. nothing over there. And just a little bit of sand. Thousands of granules. Would you agree, Adrian? Mm. It's a bit yellow, but it's sand. Okay. It's Can you see me pouring it into my hand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if I try to just squash them up like this into a little ball, it would be almost impossible to get rid of them and hide them. But wouldn't it be crazy if I did that and they just disappeared? Of course, being a magician, you can grab all those granules out of the air again and then just make them appear like that. Quite <laughs> freaky, isn't it? <laughs> and that was just the Quite. beginning. Because I know your true. music is going to be so magic for me. But I thought I just want to show you something else as well. <laughs> because when you talk about the earth, you talk about minerals, you talk about copper, gold, silver. And is a real favorite of mine, a real old coin trick. And it's just a quick mm -hmm. observation test I want to try with you. A silver coin and a copper coin. Now, it's important okay. for everyone to realize they're the same color on both sides, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to place the copper one there, the silver one there. Now, quite simply, I'm going to remove the silver coin like that. That's the half dollar. I'm going to place it into my pocket, out of sight like this. What's left in my hand, Adrian? The copper. The copper. Look, I'm going to do it again. This time I need you to concentrate, okay? <coughs> Two coins, silver and copper. So I place the silver one there, the copper one there. Again, very slowly, take the copper one like that. Place it into my pocket. What is left in my hand now? I really hope it's a silver one. <laughs> no, it's still both of them. Okay, look, one last time. But you're catching on. So this time, maybe it's confusing with both in the hand. So I'm going to leave the silver one there, and I'm going to leave the copper one there, right? Mm -hmm. So look, I close this hand with the copper one in it. I blatantly put the silver one into my pocket. What's left in my hand? Oh, no, 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 no. Now, both on. of them. Look, I'm going to do it one <laughs> last time for you. Now you've got to know what's coming. Both of them in my hand like this. I take these two fingers and I just grab one out of there. That's the copper one. And I place the copper one into my pocket. What's left in this hand? You're going to tell me it's both, but I'll, I'll still hope it's silver. No, no, there's nothing now. Oh, I know. It's freaky, isn't it? Right. <laughs> Listen, you've been That's an magic. absolutely fantastic guest. And I'm sure our viewers and our audience would love to hear your music. So it's over to DNA Strings. <laughs>
gobsmacked. Wow. Guys, thank you very, very much. You have really put the cherry on top in our earth element. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you after the commercial break. In this segment of the show, I have a speciality variety act as a guest. We searched high and low throughout the country and eventually discovered the Zip Zap Circus, which was started 14 years ago by Brent van Rensburg and his wife, Lorenz, where they train youngsters in circus skills. The two gentlemen I'm going to introduce to you now, Jose and Kahisu, are by far the earthiest act I've ever seen, and they fit perfectly into the element of earth. Now, they've trained for a number of years in uh, acrobatics, trapeze, and tightrope, and together they have now designed and come up with their own uniquely original South African act. And believe me, it is unique. They have performed this throughout the world, have gotten standing ovations, and in fact intend to become professional with numerous offers globally. So, I want you to put your hands together for the amazing Joker Boys!
I need a breather after that. So I'll see you after the ad break. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to that part of the show where once again I do something with the audience members. And you know there's a saying that goes, the three rings of life, have you heard of them? Yes or no? It's called the engagement ring, the wedding ring, and the suffering. Okay, no, 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 right. I'd like to borrow three rings from three different audience members who I've not met before, and this is totally impromptu. So do we have any three volunteers in the audience? Yeah, okay, oh, I've got one, two, uh, right, okay, right up front here. May I borrow your ring? Let, let's, okay, let's see, uh, there we go. Oh, I see it's got an inscription on, to Bernie, huh? With passionate and lustful love, John. <laughs> okay, <laughs> only kidding, okay, right. And I've got another ring over here. And what's your name? Daphne, Daphne that's a nice ring. Even a place for a stone. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm, I apologize. I'm not being sarcastic. Okay. And so you've got, oh, uh, is this your wedding band? Okay. So these are three different rings I've borrowed from three different people. I'm going to place them into my hand like this. And uh, nothing over here. I've got over here a small letter opener. I'm going to take them like this. Just wave that over there. And I'm just going to pick one of them up like that. There we go. Now I want you to notice that all three are linked together. Uh, I know, I, I know, I was, it's, it's, it's creepy, yes. Okay. What's your name, sir? Donovan. Donovan, is that your wedding band over there? That's right. That is right. That's very important. And it's Daphne, is that your wedding band, uh, your, your ring over there? Okay. And Bernie. It was, yes, is that your ring over there? So they are completely linked together. That's when you know how to work with the elements. Of course. <laughs> ah, control. Okay, now the difficult thing is to get them apart again, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold them in my hand like this. I'm just going to just rub over there. And if I open the hand really slowly, you see they have now separated. Uh, 
Donovan, was that your ring? Is it in fact damaged in any way? Is it still the original ring you had? Daphne, is this your ring? And there's nothing wrong with it. It is all in one piece. And Bernie, is that your ring? Is it all in one piece? Give them a round of applause. Thank you very much. We now have come to the end of the show, but each show has got a spectacular ending. And it's something we're doing out of the theater. I want you to sit back, relax, and be totally blown away by this outside insert. One member of the cosmic family is called the Earth, which sustains life. We live in a celestial illusion. To all appearances, the Earth hangs solidly in the heavens, with the rest of the universe revolving around it. We all know this is not true. But speaking of illusions, I want to take you to a land of mystery and magic. Right, I do trust you had a great time this evening. Wasn't that outside insert effective, huh? Wow. Well, next week we've got another super program lined up for you. Thank you very much. Have a great week. See you next time. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>